Derek Splone alongside Richard and Marty. Richard, a tough game, but how has your experience been with the Global Basketball Summer League thus far? Thus far at the Global Summer Basketball League, I really believe that this is a great place for people to come and showcase a lot of talent. And um, how long has it kind of taken? I know you guys just started practicing together. That chemistry may not be there yet, but how have you guys been able to adjust to each other's roles and just playing together? I think it, it comes with like just having a good group of guys, you know what I'm saying? When you're able to find a good group of guys, I think that once you just be able to talk and be vocal and they respect you on the basketball court, everything seems to just work. So uh, as this thing goes on and we grow together, I think we're going to get a lot better. And you grew up in Toronto. When did you first discover your love for the game? To be honest with you, when I was younger, I always loved playing ball. Never really had like a desire to go anywhere with it. But it was like just getting to a lot of trouble and being in prison, to be honest with you, really woke me up. And then I really fell in love with it because it helped me get away from so much negative stuff. Along with that, I mean, obviously paid off. You have a great journey, you know, from high school basketball to JUCO to being a Division One athlete in one of the prestigious conferences for Oregon. When you look back on your journey and how far you've came, what goes through your mind? Just understanding that you could do anything if you put your mind to it. And how did playing at Oregon in the Pac-12 prepare you for the next level? Playing in Oregon definitely helped me a lot, understanding how to be a professional, how to conduct yourself on and off the court. And with that, just let me just become a better basketball player because I believe that I'm really talented at what I do. And just understanding just the little simple things that Oregon's taught me, I think it's helped benefit me a lot. What are some skills in your game you feel like you could develop on to become even better? I really want to handle the ball a lot better, shoot it a lot better. I want to be able to do everything a lot better than what I'm doing right now. But what are some strengths, though, that you can offer to a franchise? I definitely can offer you a lot of um, energy. I can definitely offer you a lot of athleticism and just being able to be a, 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 a good guy. You know, you can rely on someone that's always going to be happy. You want to rely on someone that's always going to come with the right attitude. And Richard, I know you kind of have your own playing style, but do you model your game after any other particular player? Honestly, it's hard, it's hard for me to model, model myself behind any type of player because I'm trying to develop my own brand. So I'm trying to be myself. Just a couple more questions for you. Like we mentioned, playing in a prestigious conference like the Pac-12, what was one of the hardest stadiums or loudest stadiums that you've ever played in? Hey, uh, Arizona, Arizona fans get real crazy. Yeah. And that's a pretty big rivalry, really too. I know you guys had a couple yeah, good matchups yeah, as well. Yeah. well. What music listen to before a game to get you ready, man? I know Toronto, we got, they got Drake, we got all the guys, but what do you listen to before a game, man? Man, I'm listening to my young boys, man. I'm listening to my guys out of my neighborhood. They, they doing their rap thing right now. They get me excited, man. Uh, I also listen to a lot of Atlanta guys. The, the, the new Atlanta is where it's at right now. So, you know. I know you mentioned you respect everybody's craft, so that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. My final question for you, what's one thing about Richard Armani not many people know that you could share with us? What I can share with you about Richard Armani that don't many people know? Special Who would, hobby. Special hobby. Hey, I'm a, hey, I'm a really good cook. <laughs> what, are you, what are you cooking up, man? Hey, I chef up anything you need, man. <laughs> Little Italian, little Chinese in there. Yeah, anything, anything you need. Just give me the recipe, I'll take care of it. All right, man, well, there's that Global Basketball exclusive, Derek Spohn, Richard Armadi. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. No doubt. All right, thank you, man.